opponents are used to playing football deep into November, but there's an elusive goal that the school has never captured, a state title. This year's team plans on changing that. It's safe to say Nashville, Illinois loves its football. I think the community wants us to bring it home just as much as we do, and they're a huge part of what we do. Home field, if you look in the past, we, we always dominate at home, and I think that's in part to the huge crowd that always shows up. But the Hornets are still looking to win the big one, a state title. They finished second twice, most recently in 2019. Call it built-in motivation for this year. Some of these seniors, you know, they were on the field that day, um, so they, they remember the disappointment. I remember that day just like it was yesterday, and ever since then I wanted to go back there and take the rest of the team and see what, show them what it's like. These Hornets are nearly perfect with just a single loss on their record heading into the semifinals. They're looking to write a different ending than what happened in 2019, and they could punch their ticket to the title game right here at home against St. Teresa on Saturday. It's awesome that we get to play this game in front of the home crowd. Um, it was a great atmosphere in the corner final game last week. Um, we know it's going to be that much more um, exciting. Um, obviously being at home and then the stakes are even higher. And if they can win just two more games, this team knows they'll secure a place in the history of this town. If I could be the first team, <laughs> I, I couldn't express how I'd feel. That that would just be insane. I'd love to be known as the you're the team that brought home the first state championship to Nashville High School. In Nashville, Corey Miller, 500 Side Sports. One, two, three.